I'm low key sad. Like I was so sure of myself. I thought I had gotten the right size. <laughs> Hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Like the title says, today's video is going to be a try on haul. Thumbs up this video if you love try on hauls. And it's gonna be a good one. It's going to be a good one. So you definitely want to stay through the entire video. I had so many surprises um, and I'm low key but hurt as well about certain things, which you will see in the video. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, you're in the right place. Okay, before we get into the video, cause I know that's what you want, you want the video. Today is the very last day to get all the items I share in this video that are still available <laughs> on sale. Prices go up tomorrow. So sis, no more time to procrastinate. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first item I wanna share with you guys, if you are following me on Instagram, you would have already seen this dress. I kinda did like a Nordstrom sale preview. So if this is your first time watching my video, basically I had so many issues with my order and this video was supposed to be up like a week and a half or two weeks ago. So if you're not following me there, you definitely wanna follow me there. Okay, this is from the BP range at Nordstrom and I got this in a size 1X. When I say that I am so in love with this dress, like, the, it's just, I've worn it too many times since I got it. It's super lightweight, it's easy, it's perfect if you're working from home. And it's one of those pieces that can transition really nicely from summer to fall. I featured it in my latest video, which is a transitional video from summer to fall, like how to transition your wardrobe. And it's easy to layer on top. It's lightweight enough to wear right now. You can cinch it in to give it some shape, et cetera, et cetera. So I absolutely love, love, love this dress. It's made out of like a rayon fabric because I just, I couldn't get over like how just easy it was on the body. And I was like, what is this made out of? And it is. So it's kind of like a empire style. I would say that's the style of this. And then it features these cute ruffling on the sleeves like so. And then it has a keyhole back. Um, I did wanna mention that this dress actually comes in two other colors. Last I checked, they had very limited quantities of this print, but it also comes in a dark floral print and it comes in like a green print as well. You could do a lot with this, with this dress. And for the price, I think it's really, um, great. So it's currently $31.90 and tomorrow it's going to go up to $55. So get in where you fit in, sis. <laughs> the next item I want to share with you guys and the second <laughs> footwear item that I picked up from the sale and it is these boots. So I paired it with these chunky combat lug sole boots. Literally, I have been, I think the lug sole trend has been growing on me over the course of the last like three or four winters. And I finally bit the bullet and got this. Let me just say the first thing you, first impressions for these shoes. The first thing you notice when you put them on is, or when you get them is how incredibly soft they are. I don't know what they put on this, but it's just like, it feels kind of like velvet. That's the best way to describe this. It feels like velvet and as you can see it is like has that rustic yet modern um sensibility it has like this elastic so all you have to do is just pull this on your foot i like that it has some height on the boot it is an ugly shoe i won't even lie like it's one of those things that are ugly and pretty and fashion at the same time i like the idea of mixing it with girly things that's how it works for me i wouldn't necessarily wear this with something edgy because I feel like that would just be too edgy for my sensibilities, but mixing it in with cute frilly floral dresses, definitely a win for me. So I got this in a size 11. I would say this is very true to size. It's comfortable on the foot. It does have some weight to it, but nothing crazy. One thing to note is that it's actually weatherproof. So if you live anywhere that gets a lot of snow or you guys have like a real winter or it rains a lot, you will love this boot. I think it's like an everyday boot. It comes in three colors. So it also comes in white. It also comes in like a, a snake skin. And I think yeah, I think it's three colors. Yeah, white, snakeskin, and black. And I was like, I ain't a snakeskin, but I'm gonna stick with the black and see how much I wear it. If I wear it a lot, 
I may actually cop that one too, although it won't be on sale anymore. <laughs> so the next item I wanna mention really quickly because I believe it's sold out in the larger sizes, but just in case it comes back in stock because stock is ranging, can be this BP sweater. So this is the Leopard Oversized Brushed Pullover Sweater. It does have like a lot of texture to it. I hope you can see in the video, like it has like tiny hairs going through it. I have it here in a size extra large. I will say um, that it does run kind of like oversized, like the name says, and that although it recommended I got an extra large, I could totally have gotten a large in that. If you're in between sizes, size down. So you guys know I love a good boyfriend jean. I love a good like gritty old school type jean um, in Levi's of course is the goat when it comes to making that kind of like vintage style jean. So when I found out that they had the wedgie high waist crop straight leg jeans in the sale <laughs> and they had larger sizes, I ran for it. Like <laughs> ran. Okay, so I, cause normally when I see the wedgie jeans, the highest size I ever see is like a size 14, but they had up to a size 18 in the sale. So apparently the wedgie jeans is like made with this special technology that kind of like lifts your butt and like hugs your hips. This is a 26 inch inseam. It's a button fly like so. Um, and then it only has 1% elastane. It's 99% cotton. And I can definitely tell that. But like I said, it does have a teensy bit of stretch to it. So you guys are gonna see me try it on right here. Yep. These are supposed to be a size 18. <laughs> okay, I will say, I will say that they fit going, they fit all through my leg. Like they fit all through my leg. They go past my hips, everything. But they don't fit my waist. It's like a good three inches of fabric that's missing for me to cover my butt, you know, to go, <laughs> go over my butt. So I would say this definitely runs very small. <clears throat> This is a size 34. It's supposed to be a size um, 18. I tried on the Madewell jeans that were also a size 34, and those fit. This did not. Um, maybe it's the 4% elastane that they have. I don't know. But yeah, these did not fit. So I would say if you're a size 16, 14, definitely smaller than me, you could check these out. If you're looking, if you're obsessed with that vintage mom style jean, you would love these. And I'm just, if Levi's happens to be watching this, I really wish you guys would offer this style of jean on the plus side. I feel like all the jean styles that they offer on the plus side are the same sort of like stretchy styles. Um, like girls like me want that vintage cut. We also happen to have a lot of curves. So if you could just like test it out, you know, and see. So the next item is gonna be a basic and it's gonna be the long sleeve modal blend tee by Halogen. I have this in a size extra large. This stripe um, print is sold out, but I did see the pink version of this tee and I believe it's the same one. Honestly, if you can grab these, if you maybe go in store or something like that, please do, because this is definitely a closet basic. I've styled this and worn this quite a few ways. I love a stripe print especially if your wardrobe tends to be a little bit more neutral because it just adds a little bit of something to your outfit. And what I like about this T1 is that it feels so soft. I've worn it, I've washed it several times. This is a last year's version, FYI, and it still retains that softness, that stretchiness, but it's thin enough so that you can layer it with different things. The next item is, it is this Julia Jordan dress. I got it in a size 16. This is giving me 70s vibes at its best. I'm so obsessed with this dress. I already styled it a couple of ways. Um, on Instagram. Of course, you guys will see that. I paired it with a biker jacket and my favorite brown cognac boots. You could even throw on some aviators and totally get your 70s life with this dress. I am wearing this in a US size 16. It is the perfect um, fall dress. It features this like tie up detail. It's like a lightweight chiffon fabric. It has lining inside of it and then it has adjustable straps so you can like tighten, snatch that waist as much as you like, okay? Um, and 
I just love the paisley prints and the colors. It features this like ruffle detail up top over here. Um, all the warm colors. There's some like mustard woven in, some browns, etc., etc. Just perfect for fall. I have it on with my Croc boots that you guys have seen me rock like all last fall and winter. I can't believe we are already approaching um, boot season and it has an elasticated cuff around the arms. Like, so I would say this is pretty true to size. This is a 16 and it fits comfortably. I do feel a little, like a little smidge of like, you know, tightness around the arms, but nothing crazy. So overall, I am, I have nothing but good things to say about this dress. You can lighten this up, darken this up, add accent colors like I did with the mustard um, biker jacket. So tomorrow it's going to be $129, but today it is $75. So again, I will put a link to this if it's still available, but I will also link the other dresses she has as well. There um, I have two blog posts and I believe I'm gonna try and get out a third one as well on the blog about the sale. The first one I share my wish list and all of my picks in fashion, beauty, home, baby, all of that. And then another blog post I have on is all my picks that are under $50. And then I share dupes because a lot of the popular items sold out super quickly this year in the sale. So I also got some dupes, okay? Those posts are live on the blog right now and I'm hopeful that you find them helpful and useful and it kind of takes a little bit of the edge off of shopping this sale because I know it can be overwhelming. So the leaf trench in the size 1x and that was a big mistake. This thing runs so, so, so small, like incredibly small. It was so tight around the arms. It could not even fit around like my core, which is noticeably the smallest part of my body. And yeah, I'm kind of sad. It's like, it's not meant to be. This is the item that I should have gotten in two sizes and I did not. So this is definitely not fitting. Okay, this will be returned. Again, the links to everything that I share, if it's still available, will be down below. We're gonna go into some denim. The first one is gonna be the high rise skinny from Madewell in the 11 inch. So I got this in a size 34, very high rise on the body. What I love about this jean is just how it's like, when when you say black on black, it's black on black. Everything in this jean is all black. The, the hardware is black. The um, little leather patch is black. Like everything about it is black. I also, the next thing I noticed about this denim is like, I don't know about you guys, but I like denim that feels like denim. But being a curvy girl, I kind of need some stretch. And this denim nails that. You get that denim heavy denim feel but you also get some stretch and this denim definitely snatches you in it's kind of like it's a thick fabric so you're less likely to see any lumps and bumps in this type of um jean fabric i got this like i said in a size um 34 it's normally 135 it's in the sale for 89 and it's fair, tra fair trade certified, made at a fair trade certified. Uh, it's made at a fair trade certified factory. Um, so it's made out of 88% cotton, 8% polyester, and 4% elastane. So that elastane. So it definitely has some stretch to it, and it, it most definitely feels like denim. Like denim. If you're on the shorter side, this hit me like below my ankle, so this might be a little bit long on you. It does have a frayed hem and um, it's a five pocket style. So just regular two pockets in the back and then two pockets in the front with a little mini pocket. I have a short waist, I'm short waisted, so this to me is quite high waisted. So comment down below, should I keep this? Should I return this? Because on this one, I'm kind of like 
very very iffy on this one like i'm not sure i love the fit it is does run a little loose for me or at least looser for me around the waist but that's typical for my shape um and i'm 5'7 and it definitely hits me on the ankles so if you are shorter bear that in mind it does have a rip right here in the knee like so i almost would want to get this in a short just because i like my jeans to hit me around the ankle so the next item i want to talk about okay is in the sale but also not in the sale at the same time and it's going to be the blank nyc i believe it's blank yeah the blank nyc faux leather jackets this top is from zara there's a zara haul coming so if you're not subscribed subscribe we're doing another will it fit okay um but yeah so i picked up this blank nyc jacket these jackets if you've been following the um the the nordstrom sale these blank nyc jackets are one of the most popular jackets every year in this sale i remember that i saw it on another blogger after the sale and I saw it at Anthropology. So I decided to go and check out an Anthropology. Y'all know Anthropology, they're just like Nordstrom, they don't be doing sales like that. Um, um, so I was able to grab this one. If you're looking for it, I just thought I would share it. If you've seen it in the sale and you're like, damn, why does it only go to a size 14? Excuse me. Um, well, you can grab it for yourself. It is definitely as beautiful as expected. It's just, the quality is just impeccable. Um, yes, yeah. so I decided to get this color or invest in this color just because I feel like it's a color I can wear all year. Like my black moto jackets, I tend to not wear in the spring and summertime because it's just too harsh. Um, and so, but with this color, it's kind of like a, a cool tone beige color. I know I can wear this with my lighter colors in the spring. And I also know that I can still wear this in the fall as well now again there is a faux leather style and from what i can see it's it's there's like no difference really and it's much cheaper so i'm gonna link that um option for you guys as well down below all right so the last item i'm gonna share with you guys is another item that like was so popular in the sale completely sold out super quickly however I will say that there are quite a few dupes in the sale right now for this item. And it's the um, the Spanx faux leather um, leggings. Like, I heard so much about these leggings and I didn't understand. I had a, a pair of like faux leather leggings that I already owned. So I wasn't really interested in buying another pair, but then I wore it to death. So I knew that I was in the market for one. And since I had heard so much about these, I decided to grab them and when i say that i get the hype sis i get the hype like i get it this thing snatches you so well like you be in it and you just be feeling like you're a cutie patootie okay it just put that stomach in okay that fupa is nowhere to be found sis and like i could tuck a shirt into this and not feel like I'm like not feel weird. I would never do that with regular leggings. I would never do that with the other four leggings that I had. These are high waisted. Um, I got this in a size two X and honestly, I'm kind of of two minds. I don't know what to tell you guys about sizing with this item because originally when I put it on, I was like, okay, I'm definitely a two X. But as I've been wearing it and lounging around, I feel like I could have definitely gone down a size. Um, especially around the waist, which is like, again, normal for me. I like how comfortable it fits around the thighs and the legs. And I feel like if I sized down, it wouldn't be comfortable. This really does have that, that technology that really sucks you in. Okay. There is a link to two styles that are not exactly the black camo style is linked on my LTK and it's currently $50. And there's another style that's kind of like a snake skin. That's also linked down below. I will also link these original ones. The next item I want to try on for you guys is going to be this good American black blazer so i have to be honest with you when i first on the website it looked like the blazer had a little bit of sheen to it and when i first got it i was kind of like mm, i have learned when i invest in the core pieces of my wardrobe it just takes my style up another level it elevates it and so i got this jacket in the size four and i definitely should not have done that 
No, I think I needed to go up one size, maybe even two sizes for this just because of my arms. The body fit fine, but my, well, the body fit better than my, but my arms always, I, I should notice that I need to size up when it comes to jackets and blazers. I am obsessed with the cut of this thing. It is cut so beautifully and so well. I love the larger lapels. I love the cloth covered buttons. I just love the fit, the cut. That is what you get when you invest, okay? Black blazers are a closet must have. Now I'm sad, <laughs> this blazer. First I was like, is this really worth it? When I saw it, then I put it on. The cut is so premium and I'm so sad because <laughs> it's too tight on the arms and it's sold out. So in my excitement to share this video with you guys, I forgot to talk about the lace trim cami that I have on. This is from the Leith brand and I have it on in a 1X. This is a bodysuit. It is a thong style bodysuit. It's made out of like a stretchy jersey style fabric, but really what drew my eye to it was the lace trim. You can pair it you know, with a blazer like I've done. You can also swap it out and make it a little bit cozy for home and pair it with a chunky sweater. I just feel like it's something that you can wear and use all year. If it's true to size, the only drawback with this um, style is that it you actually have to wear it. It does not have snaps on the bottom, but aside from that, I think it's a closet staple. And if you don't already have one, it'll be linked in the description below. If you shopped the sale already, because I'm sure so many of you have already, let us know what you got. I'm curious and I know it would really help some of the girls who are shopping the sale on the last day. And let's give a big congratulations to the Nubian African Puerto Rican. I, I can't, I'm actually going off my memory, so if I got your name wrong, my bad. But congratulations to her. She won the Nordstrom um, sale giveaway. So sis, be, I be doing giveaways like low key and you need to stay tuned, okay? If you want to um, not miss the next giveaway. So when I'm not on YouTube, I'm on Instagram. Follow me there for daily outfit inspo, unboxings. You get to see all this stuff that I share in the haul there first before they sell out because I did do like a mini um, try on haul on there. And the girls who saw that were able to grab their pieces before they sold out. Um, and yeah, all my socials, all my links, all that good stuff is down below. If you're looking to develop, improve, and level up your style, all you have to do is subscribe now. For more haul videos, check out this video. And for summer to fall styling, check out this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, stay blessed.